Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I'm your host, Joe Zamore here, and with me I have Jesse and Stuart. Welcome, Jesse and Stuart. Yo, 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 yo. Where can they find your stuff? Well, I guess they just know, they'll just they just talk to you through the group. Oh no, who is that? Hi, my name's David. I sometimes stream on Twitch and sometimes on YouTube. Just uh, follow me wherever. <laughs> Uh, my name is Morgan. I'm Morgan Elko Gaming. M O R G A N Elko. Spell it how it sounds, people. <laughs> no, we got a three man crew today, but we got more than enough to make this thing work. We got the skeleton crew, but it's also the skeleton key to, key to victory. And where do you use skeletons normally? Or skeleton keys normally. Um, in castles, with that, we have Nido King. Yeah, King, uh, King, oh. Nido King for what, a castle, what? right? Huh? Either that what or a vampire. Segue that, was. <laughs> that was a hell of a segue. That was like a, a woman jumping to conclusions on that one. I had to reach. Um, oh, yikes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> wait, you need a skeleton key because you're dead because you ate all that Burger King, and that leads us to Nido King. <laughs> And be with Night O King, as you can see here, we have the ability, well, you can hear here because if you're listening to the podcast, but if you're watching later on YouTube, you can see here that the abilities are Poison Point, Rivalry, and Chair Force. Its typing is Poison Ground, and its stats are HP 81, Attack 102, Defense 77, Special Attack 85, Special Defense 75, and Special 85. Okay, so cool little fact. Um, it actually got a stat boost from Gen 6 on. Um, originally, its attack in the first five gens was actually 92 instead of 102. Oh, damn, really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, just, I just noticed that right now. That's pretty cool. Nido King is a really good mon. It's the king of Gen 1. If you see a speed run of red and blue, you're probably <laughs> seeing Nido King. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. And yeah, fair enough. Okay, cool. One of the best things about Nido King is that, is that it learns pretty much every fucking move in the game that you could want. Oh yeah, it has tremendous coverage, and its stats aren't like they're not bad. I mean, granted, in the first couple of gens, you without its abilities, it's kind of it's all right. You know, got decent speed, good attack, kind of a little well rounded. So they should have gave it a speed buff. They should have gave it Dragon Dance. I will still stand by that. Statement. Oh my god. Dude, dude. Oh, no. No. Even, the, Salamence can use Dragon Dance. Nido King can use Dragon Dance. What the fuck? Salamence is a fucking dragon, though. Alright. Scrafty knows Dragon Dance. Nido King should know Dragon Dance. I mean, wasn't it. Who wasn't it? Was it Garchomp didn't know Swords Dance or Dragon Dance until recently? Uh, it still doesn't know Dragon Dance, I don't believe. I think it does. Or you... Who, who's that? Garchomp? No, he can't drag him down. Hmm. But his that's, why, is... that's why. That's why. That's why Scalshot's so popular because it raises his speed without him having to, um, you know, use a scarf or whatever. And plus, his speed is 102, so that he doesn't need Dragon Dance. You can always need Dragon Dance. Needle King has 85 speed. He needs Dragon Dance. Just look at him, how menacing he looks. He looks like a dragon. An uh, awkward looking one, but still a dragon nonetheless. Oh, what well, looks more like a dragon, him or Charizard? Charizard. I mean, Charizard's the embodiment of a dragon, but he's still not a dragon. Okay, him uh, Him compared to Gyarados. Um, if he had wings, I'd say him, but... And we'll go with the last one. Him or Aerodactyl? Oh, him more than Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl Look. just looks like a... Aerodact Pterodactyl. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, Lance should have had a Night of King as its last one. Yep. I agree with I that. Mean, 
He does learn Outrage, though, so, and he does know Dragon Ball, so I can see that. I mean, it, it, it would make sense to give him Dragon Dance over other Pokemon that have it. Mostly, the, the main one I think, could think of is Crafty. Yeah, I mean, there are some different ones that should have it and mods that don't have it, but you know what? Nido King is so versatile. He's so good. I know. I just wish we had Dragon Dance. That's all I want. <laughs> I just want to sweep everyone with it. Because <laughs> it doesn't even get a... It doesn't get aerial or anything like that. So there's no way... To, well, it gets peck. You, you can... Ooh. Uh, max, <laughs> you, max peck. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can get max peck and get that speed boost. And then there you go. I'll show you my max peck. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. I think that's Got not him. a bad idea if you can get your opponent to waste their Dynamax first. You go ahead and uh, get a max peck on a weakened opponent, and then you just sweep it from there. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be so destructive. I'm good. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. All right. Well, what is y'all's favorite uh, anime moment of Nido King? So me, I'm old school, so whenever I can reference an old time uh, episode, I'll definitely do that. Um, he was actually not used a whole lot. I mean, he was an, uh, a Pokemon of Gary Oaks, and there was a couple yeah, times where reason. you saw him against uh, Giovanni and whatnot, but I mean, he, he, he's a pretty cool dude. I mean, he's got a temper on him, but you know. It was cool to see him in the, the episodes he was in. What about you? Yeah, I was gonna say I can't remember a specific I can't remember a specific point where I'm like, oh, Nido King was awesome. But I remember him being one of Gary's Pokemon, and I always I quite quite liked Gary when I was younger. So you know, I wanted him to win with his arrogance and everything. It was cool. Oh, fun fact: Stewart's yep. Draft League Pokemon mascot is Nido King. What's that true? Yeah, you're the New Zealand king. You have the new, you have the Nido right. king. king. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, should we that switch to the Nido queens? Oh, Queen, mm -hmm. well, the queens on their money. I don't know. That up to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. You had to be there. Uh, but, uh, the one episode I remember Nido King in, he wasn't very menacing. It was when, uh, they introduced, uh, Nido Queen and Nido King together. And they did, like, uh, they did, like, a combined cartwheel to beat Team Rocket. It was weird. Hmm. But it exists. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Well, that's cool. That's there's cool. No, there's no way I dreamed it up, I don't think. No, no, I believe you, but I just don't remember it. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah. What about in-game moments with Nido King? I mean, like I said, um, he was I... always a favorite of, like, in the red, blue, yellow. He was, like, just a solid choice for your team. Whenever I see YouTubers on that play in Draft League with Nido King, and they, they are awesome with it, doesn't matter who it is, and then I try and use it, and it this, it's too slow or it gets poked and I don't know. I drafted it for the double season and I thought I, I think I brought it twice mm -hmm. and it only got off maybe one attack in those two times because it kept on dying. Yeah, that uh, that's kind of the point Joe brings up, which is kind of the reason why he's like Dragon Dance on it because it has what was it, an eighty-five speed. Mm -hmm. And it's got good attack, and with special attack, with the plethora of moves it has and its ability, it's really good. But you're stuck with two choices. You either go Choice Scarf and lose the power, or you go, uh, you know, a Life Orb, which utilizes its, its ability, but then you don't have the speed to outspeed some of its threats. Definitely. And I think Nido King is, if you're going to use Nido King, you certainly have to build in favor of it. Yeah, it yeah, does. But I also think 
Yeah, I think it's better in singles because it's hard to switch into more than it is because then the speed doesn't matter as much. Like, like if you get it out on the field, then it's hard to switch into. Unless someone goes through that max pack. Hey. <laughs> Got him. It's going to happen. Someone's going to do it. But, uh, yeah, with the proper setup, if you know you get webs out or you get a tailwind, you can really destroy people with Nido King, so. And that's another thing, too. Uh, a lot of people, um, I mean, there's the attack stat of 102 opposed to 85, but they like, everyone likes to use the special Nido King more when he has the same exact moves in physical form. I never understood. It's just that. because the, it's because the um, physical moves have this this sheer force boost, whereas the physical moves don't. So Earth Power has a chance to reduce speed F, but you give that up and you get a power boost with sheer force. Whereas Earthquake has no secondary effect, so there is no boost. So a modest life orb sheer force Earth Power is going to do more damage than a adamant life orb regular Earthquake. Yeah, but that's only one. Even though the attack as well. Oh, well, it, it applies to the same. You know, you want to run poison jab, sure. Ice but you know, there's no. You want to run ice punch, punch. Yeah. yeah. Ice beam and thunderbolt do more damage, for the same reason. But uh, the punches have a chance to burn, paralyze, and freeze as well. So they. Yeah. So they get the they. Get, yeah, they get the boost too. But they're also lower base power, so they. Um, I think it still works out that the special moves are higher. Yeah, because uh, before Gen 8, you didn't have the punches, so the special attacks were more preferred with the physical punches. Now, as you know, TMs, it's actually you know more plausible to go physical. Yeah, and then there's also mix, mix attacking you can do. But then that takes more power away. Yeah, you'd have to run like hasty or something, and that's no, that's no fun. <laughs> Can't take a hit anyway. Um, but yeah, guys. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see how we build our team before we put them to the test. Now that we've uh, talked about those amazing facts for Needle King, we're going to go ahead and talk about our team. I will go ahead and start. Um, my first Pokemon is Rabombi with Focus Sash, Shield Dust, nicknamed Bitchby because she's a bitch. And uh, oh, come on, Joe, Joe, we've got standards. <laughs> not in a negative way. You know when <laughs> girls, you know when girls call each other bitch. Oh my God, bitch, what? Like that. Alright, but the moves are Sticky Web, Bug Butt, Moon Glass, Energy Ball with 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, Timid Nature. Next up, we have Baby Wings, our Dragonite with Weakness Policy Multi Scale, which is gonna wreck. I just know it. I can tell. And then, um, certainly want to Dynamax this baby because, uh, we have. <laughs> We have extreme speed. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna be a good Dynamaxer. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, that's why I have extreme speed, dual wing beat, dragon claw, and earthquake. HP 200. Oh, that's good. That's good for those maxia streams. Oh yeah, Matt, it's, you gotta, gotta get that speed boost. <laughs> <laughs> HP 200, attack 56, and speed 252. Jolly nature. Alright, next up we have a Plain Burb, our Skarmory with a red card Sturdy. It's just here to be annoying with Brave Bird, Stealth Rock, Roost, and Whirlwind. 252 attack, 252 special, uh, 252 defense, and 4 HP. With, uh, Whatever the defense minus special attack nature is. <clears throat> like wave or something, I don't know. Something like that. Next up, we have the Horny King, Slow King. So we have two Royals on this team with mm -hmm. Leftovers Regenerator. Moves are Scald, Psyshock, Teleport, and Fire Blast. Can't wait to use that. 
um, HP 252, Special Defense 252, and 4 Special Attack, Modest Nature. Fifth, we have Angry Chicken, or Moltres Galarian. Citrus Berry Berserk with Fiery Wrath, Hurricane, Nasty Plot, and Air Slash. You gotta be careful for that Fiery Wrath, they might burn people. Yeah, it's the, that fire move. Fiery. Fire. Yeah. Sounds fire. Sounds like fire. HP 180, Special Attack 76, and Speed 252 with Timid Nature. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the star of the party, King Louie. Our Nido King, Life Orb, Sheer Force, with Mega Horn, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Poison Jab, Attack 252, and Speed 252, Jolly Nature. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. All right, let's go. Here's the team for the J-Dog, J-Dog or GS Gold, whatever I want to use today. Uh, so we're starting off with Nido King. Uh, so whenever I do my team, I always like to add a little bit of cheese, in which I did here. Um, hopefully it'll work out. Um, it's a Focus Sash rivalry because hey, we're facing other Nido Kings, so that'll give That's me a little right. bit. Of I, did, I did consider that. It uh, will oh, hopefully that'll give me a little bit of an advantage because you know rivalry uh, when it's the same gender gives you a boost. All your attacks do 1.25, which. Um, it's not as great as Sheer Force, but I don't have to worry about using only specific moves. But I do lose uh, that amount on the opposite gender. So I'm hoping uh, my opponents just bring mail, because, you know, I don't know. That's the preset. So uh, he has Ice Punch, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and a little bit of cheese, a counter. Uh, and it is a... Uh, Jolly nature, so it's max speed and attack with a positive speed nature. Uh, after that, I've got Mega Caesar with its Caesarite uh, technician because I'm not dumb. Uh, dual wing beat, bullet punch, sword stance, and U-turn. You know, basic kind of scissor build. Gonna go with the bulky one. Uh, max HP and attack with a admit nature, just to get me all the power I can get out of that bullet punch. Uh, next up is Star Raptor. Um, I actually decided to use a Z move because we can do that. So I gave it Flynium Z, made it reckless, gave it all the dangerous moves that makes it so dangerous, like Brave Bird Combat, uh, Close Combat, Double Edge, and Roost, and made it a jolly person with max attack and speed. Next up is my Whimsicott. Now, this one had an Agave Berry, just in case it actually lived something. Uh, prankster, because yet again, I'm a smart person, and this is what I wanted to do. Um, it has Tailwind, U-Turn, Knockoff, and Sunny Day, which I'll explain why I have Sunny Day with my next mod. Uh, this one is a max attack and speed, just to do a little extra damage with Knockoff, because it's not going to live many attacks otherwise, because it doesn't have Sash. Um, and my next Pokemon is Heatran. Uh, this one is a bulky boy. He's going to have max HP and special attack with a modest nature. And I'm going to be running a charcoal with it just to give it a little bit extra power without limiting my moves. So it's going to be max damage on my eruption. Um, then I'll have heat wave as a secondary option just in case I take too much damage. And an earth power and flash cannon to round him out. Next is my Barrascuta. I'm going to run a choice ban on him. He's going to have Swift to him because Propeller Tail is useless in single. So um, it's going to have Flip Turn, Close Combat, Liquidation, and Drill Run. And it's going to be Adamant with max attack and speed. <clears throat> Mega Sizzle, I don't know, man. Questionable mind. I, I decided to try something new, you know. No, it's pretty good. It, it's got a, a good priority. Hopefully no one brings like a tap of Lele where I can't use Bullet Punch or something. Or something stupid like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, Stuart, your turn. See what you bring. Alrighty, so I started with Nidoking, King, of course. Uh, Sheer Force, Life Orb. And my four attacks were Earth Power, Ice Beam, Sludge Wave, and Shadow Ball. Oh man. Because I thought everyone... I thought everyone would bring psychic types, and no one did, apart from Joe. Um, then I went with my Mega of choice was Mega Venusaur, 
Um, ironically, my second favorite mega after Mega Scissor. So let's see how that goes. Um, uh, Venus Riot with the ability Overgrow. So if I get low in health, then I'll do more damage. Um, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Earth Power, and Leech Seed. Um, and it was bulky, um, but it was Spadef bulky. So almost max Spadef, a little bit of defense, max HP. Calm. And I brought Kaliscore, Toxic Core, Poison Heal, Earthquake, U Turn, Roost, Defog, a little bit of speed, lots of HP, bit of Spadef, Jolly. And I brought Flame Wall, Milotic with Marvel Scale. Um, I had Flip Turn Ice Beam, but I changed it to Flip Turn Scald. I hope that doesn't uh, affect me. Flip Turn Scald, Recover, and Toxic, Max HP, Max Defense, Bold. Uh, leftovers, Heat Ran, Flash Fire, Stealth Rock, Magma Storm, Earth Power, Body Press. Um, hopefully I can get off some body presses on opposing heat rans, but probably not because they're just going to earth, earth power me to oblivion. A um, little bit of speed, max HP, max defense. Hey, Dragon, Choice Scarf, Flamethrower, Draco Media, Flash Cannon, and Earth Power. Max Special Attack, max speed, modest. GG. GG. GG, it's dashing. God, no. Um. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> well, let's see, how, let's, see how, let's see how... I'm having these... a Joe. Oh. I bet oh, he got sorry. six out. No. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and see how these teams do on not paper. <laughs> All right, guys. Now that we talked about our teams, let's go ahead and put them to the test. We're going to be doing double elimination again tonight, just like we did last week before we got. And uh, first up is Jesse and Stuart. Um, GS Gold is Jesse. He has Needle King, Sizzler, Staraptor, Whimsicott, Heat Rant, and Parascuta. Then Stewart is Stew Dog 101 with Needle King, Venusaur, Glyscore, Milotic, Heat Rant, and Hyde Dragon. Oh, you bitch. Let's start the battle. I almost picked Oh, man. I missed, too. I missed that real bad. All right. My team. No. What have I done? What Come on, man. Stop taking my picks. Go get your own heat train. <laughs> Bruh. I was going to use heat ran, but I didn't. Why not? I don't know. I, I just was like, eh, I don't need No one's going to use Clefable, huh? What? Thank God. <laughs> All right, first I'm just, up. I'm just glad. You're just glad what? I'm just glad that no, um, there's no Rillabooms. <laughs> For real. <laughs> All right, GS Gold sends out the Barascuta, and Stu Dog sends out the Glyscore. No nicknames again this week. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You just rushed me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what does this guy want to do starting off? What moves does he get that can hurt me? Do you get like Ice Fang or something shit? Probably. Jesse just like, I don't know, find out. Oh, Ooh, flip, flip turn. turn. That was clever. Milotic comes in on the flip turn. And goes straight Ooh. to Staraptor. And Milotic gets that burn off with the flame orb. Doubling its defense. You're lucky I'm not a... um. Competitive Milotic. Oh no, what's your ability? Reckless. What are you going to smash me with? You're going to smash me with like... Um, what do you get? Fucking... Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you listen to how I described the team, you'd know what'd be coming, but I guess you don't listen. No, I, wasn't, I wasn't listening. Hmm. What happened? What happens when we... Uh... To, oh to no! On a Sunday, Super Sun is Strike oh, my, goes I, straight into Milotic. Milotic goes for the flip turn though, living on thirty-seven percent. Staraptor is living on ninety-two. That's handy. This will be the first time I win this because I actually had a Z move, baby. Yeah, I always forget to throw that online. You know who doesn't forget? Stuart. He oh, always yeah. has one. Epigee, it's on his heat ran. Because he likes to bring that heat. Glyscore comes back in and takes up the Toxic Orb. 
sure it's gonna do some poison hill shenanigans. Barraskita comes right back in as Flyscore goes for a U-turn. Stuart definitely trying to keep momentum on his side. Hydreigon comes out versus the Barraskita at 71%. Hydreigon gets oh, the flash for? cannon off and goes down to the close combat. Barraskita takes it down with yeah, one I'm, hit. I missed I miss click there, obviously. <laughs> you meant oh. to do it. Oh, what did you mean? I don't want to. I ain't gonna say anything. He, he predicted that Whimsicott switch. I didn't Dang. actually, it was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> Down on the word go! Alright, Venusaur comes in to Barraskuta. Barraskuta sitting with minus defenses here. Hmm. Hmm. Star goes for the sunny day. Damn it, you predicted me. <laughs> no, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, yeah, this is the best one. Sisor switches into a sludge bomb. I thought he was 100% going whimsical. 100%. I was thinking about it. And I'm like, ah, you're gonna do it. Show so much I know. Mega Venusaur switches out to Glyscore, and Sizzler decides to Swords Dance and Mega Evolve itself. This could be bad, depending on what side of the field you're on. All right, six out, I think. I just didn't put enough prep in. That's what the problem is. Mm. Jesse's outplaying me from the word go, and it's just, I'm not good enough. Yeah, you should have heard uh, Jesse contemplating life before uh, the podcast. He was just all over, like, what the hell should I do? Glycor goes for the U-turn. I just want to beat Stuart once, please. Goes straight for Heat Ran, and Heat Ran takes a U turn from Scizor. Scizor switches out and loses its attack. Boost. I'm surprised you were slower than me. It must be bulky, Scizor. It is. Uh oh, Needle King's coming out. The star of the show versus Heat Ran on the other side. Who's faster? We'll find out right now. Naturally, Needle King. Oh, but Heat Ran switches out to Venusaur and seems like a prediction. Needle King goes for a Stealth Rock. So is this no. a bulky set? Ice Punch goes off into Venusaur, but since it's Mega Venusaur and it's Thick Fat, that wasn't doing much. Needle King takes a Giga Drain and Venusaur is back at full. Scizor decides to come in as it takes a leech seed from the Venusaur. I mean, Scizor decides to come in. What will mm. Jesse do now? He seems to have lost mm. momentum on this battle. Needle King switches in for the Venusaur, oh, and Scizor goes ass. for the dual wing beat and fuck misses. My ass. I don't think it would have mattered too much, you know? You know? And what kind of set does Stu Dog have on this needle? Could it be a Sheer Force Life Orb Flamethrower coming in to the Sizzler? Or is it not going to track up, the We're going to find Shut out. Shut up, commentators. <laughs> Shut up, commentators. <laughs> GS Gold goes for the Needle King as well, but Stu Dog's Needle King went for the Earth Power. Predicting the oh, heat thank God. Motion, I'm sure. Whim yeah, thank God I didn't get. What shenanigans are you gonna do? What shenanigans? Mm. I hate, I hate, I hate this guy. Yeah, I hate Whim to cut too. Whim to cut goes for the shit. show win and goes straight down to the sludge wave. No focus ash on that mod. And Needle King has taken two lives already. Jesse so what are you going to gonna do? You're going gonna, gonna to earth power, aren't you? <clears throat> nah. Yeah, nah. What does Heatran do? I'm sure, if, if anything, I'm, I'm assuming to start. Yeah, but what? Scarf earth power? 
flash cannon. Um, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just play it safe. Well, Jesse oh, knew his thought process and goes straight for the eruption. You didn't play it safe. Mm -mm. I, mm -mm. No, I didn't play it safe. Well, if anything, if we know anything, Heat Ran is locked in to eruption and Stew Dog's Heat Ran comes out here. Is it flash fire? We will find out. You're right, I am going to have to switch out though. Oh, psych! Oh, Heat Ran oh. goes for the Earth Tower. It is not a scarf, Heat Ran. Venusaur comes Yeah, you caught me. GG. Stew Dog goes to Venusaur. And Heat Ran goes well, for the eruption, but Venusaur yeah. lives. Earth Power comes off, and that Heat Ran is bulky. Oh, the Tailwind. Oh, we. we yeah. Oh, forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, did. I did forget about that. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. The Tailwind is Flash gone. The it, and then you meet one. This battle went from a sweet to. It could go either way now. Staraptor comes in in place of Heat Ran, and Venusaur goes for the Leech Seed. Let's see if Venusaur will switch out here to take a hit from the Staraptor, or if it will be sacrificed by its trainer. Depends if I want to die to a double edge or not. Or anything else. <laughs> I mean. Almost anything's gonna oh. die. Yeah. You're right. Jesse said, right. just pick a move, man. You're getting swept. Oh, man. <clears throat> Brave Bird comes off, and down goes the Milotic. Needle King comes in now. The Raptor ready to click button. Brave Bird Ooh. into the Needle oh. King, but it lives oh. on 2%. Oh. Oh. Ice Beam comes off and knocks down the Staraptor. Not like it matters, though. <laughs> Stuart knows the bullet punches are coming. Mega Sizzler comes out here. And Bullet Punch will clean up this game. When we'll go to Jesse. You yeah, should have not sent in the Gliscor. That was the turning point. GG. GG. I was willing to take that chance, even if you brought in Heatran, because I figured I could still bait it into an Earth Power. Yeah, but also I um I didn't bring a Z move, so there you go. That was oh my bad. <laughs> Next up, we have me versus Jesse. Oh my god. So two or oh my god. Take it away. Are you, are you sent it? I'm going to send it right now. I just sent it. I wonder if the Italianos wonder who these randos are that come into their chat every so often. I wonder if they even notice it. Actually, I very rarely, I very rarely log out, so I'm probably in there all the time. <laughs> They're probably like, he's always here, but he never talks to Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Benvenu. Here we are. Well, finally. Come on, guys. <coughs> <clears throat> Look at Alrighty, that so we all know team. we all know Jesse's team, but now we look at Joe's team. Oh, guess what he bought? Skarmory. God. Okay, so he bought Nero King, Robombi, Dragonite, Skarmory, Slow King, and Galarian Moltres. Ooh. Mm. We in here. This sounds like Webzy Mc Berserk shenanigans coming. We in here. <laughs> And I got nickname. All right, so let's all send out our first Pokemon, eh? Yeah. Oh, Jesse leads with Barrascooter again. <laughs> Joe leads with Bitchby, the Robombi. <laughs> it's a female. It 
it's a it's a female that's not very nice joe what would your mother say like you know queen b Ravombi hits the sticky webs. Barrascuta has the flip turn. Ravombi lives on 3%. He comes to Raptor, not affected by the, the webs. What is Ravombi going to do here? Is it a sack? Oh, I missed Star Raptor. I miss it. It'll be on my team in uh, Brilliant Diamond Training Pool, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I, I saw it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use it this round. Oh, Moonblast takes that 70%. That Damn, little bitch bee was stronger. <laughs> stronger. Come on, on it. And Staraptor takes out the bee with double edge, losing 3% to recoil. No, not quite 3%. 1%. Plain Burb, the Skarmory, close combat, does 26%. Respectable. Oh, Whirlwind. Mm -mm. Oh, red card. That's just mm -hmm. as bad. And Skyrim uses Stealth Rock. Barrascuta's back in. Liquidation. Oh. Oh, I guess a defense drop. Now this whirlwind. Oh, these shenanigans. Out comes Whimsicott. Is he going to do that tailwind again? Yes, he is. Brave Bird takes out the Whimsicott. But now Jesse has the speed advantage back up again. And Plain Bird goes down to Recoil. It's a pretty even match so far, even though Joe's down one extra Pokemon. I feel like he has the momentum. Who picks who picks first here? Who gets sent out? You get sent out first. Simultaneous. Oh, he brings out King Louis, the shiny Nido King. King Louis is Joe's favorite French king, of course. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> Staraptor lives on 5%. What's he going to do here? Oh, he uses a Z-move. Supersonic Sky Strike. Yeah, 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 yeah that's cool. gone. That's gone. King Louis goes down like the French. <laughs> oh, no, we surrender. God. Okay. <laughs> Angry, chicken. Angry Chicken, the Galarian Moltres, comes out. Staraptor's still alive. He's going to hopefully not knock the Moltres into uh, Berserk range. No, he double edges the incoming Slow King, takes it down to 36% after Leftover's recovery. And now his Nino King comes in, affected by the Sticky Webs, but under Tailwind for one more turn. And he sets up the Stealth Rocks. Oh, oh Spurn, no! Oh, don't, leave, don't make me do this. <clears throat> Horny King, the Slow King. Nido King lives on 1% after the burn. What's going to happen here? He's going to predict the Ice Beam? Oh no. Teleport from the Slow King, and in comes Angry Chicken. Not quite in Berserk range. Nido King dies to the burn, and we're down to a 3 3 battle here. Very, very even. Angry Chicken. Looking angry. Oh man. Barrascuta. Got a few choices here. Will he kill it in one hit? Because he will die in one hit. Fiery Wrath. Oh, he didn't die! He didn't die, and the liquidation takes it down to 9%. Up goes the ooh, Berserk. Ooh, there's no And way. the Citrus Berry. Is he going to root and then Berserk again? Ooh, trouble. Fiery Wrath. Does Fiery Wrath have a secondary effect? I don't remember. It could flinch. It could flinch. Okay. Scizor comes in to join the battle. I uh, don't know what's going to happen here because he's four times weak to fire, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe he can work at it. He's going to bait the fire move with Heat Ran. Damn. Oh, he kills it with Bullet Punch. Oh, we forget how powerful Mega, Mega Scissor is. I was hoping I could live there. <clears throat> mega Scissor is my uh, favorite Mega, just so you know. Good work. And uh, Baby Wings, the Dragonite. We don't have uh, access yeah. to... Yeah, I noticed that too. Dynamax. I <clears throat> yeah, I, I 
realize because I was going to do that with my bearish Q down. I'm like, well, I guess Nat Dex didn't have it. That was my fault. Yeah, it has to be anything, goes. Yeah, <clears throat> that's okay. We don't need it. We don't need a Dynamax. It's a busting mechanic anyway. No <laughs> one's going to be sad to see it go. <laughs> Bring back Megas. Hashtag. Oh, and Sizzle is another one. Dual wing beat takes out the Dragonite. Yikes. Hello! Scissor! Scissor coming to the party! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah! Oh. GG! GG! Damn it! Congratulations, Jesse! Oh my god, fuck right, this! So now it's me versus Stewart. So one of us gets to rematch just. Come on, Stewart, oh. please! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want me to be the rematch? Because my team's crap. I know. I get it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I sent you the challenge. I see the challenge. Alright, let, let's see if I can just not throw my half my team away. Okay, here time. we go. It's Loser uh, gets kicked out. The winner gets to face me. Let's get this battle going. <laughs> I will say Joe has the slight advantage. He does have nicknames. In comes Horny King for Joe, his low king, and Hydragon for Stew Dog. <sighs> He's just going to teleport, isn't he? That's annoying. So what moves right. is he going to have? Which one of you two's like breathing into the mic a little bit? Probably me. Sorry <laughs> about that. No, I was just like, who is that? <laughs> who is that? With the I mic mean, I have, I shouldn't be breathing into it. I don't. I mean, you know, some people, maybe some of our listeners like Asmer. I don't know, man. I ain't judging. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so Stu Dog brings in Melodic while Joe switches to Angry Chicken, his Moltres Galar. And Angry Chicken Nasty Plots while Militant Melodic uses the flip turn. What type is this? Dark Flying. For some reason, I thought it was Fire Type still. <laughs> yeah, no. What yeah, you, you can even think, some, you'd think something like Fiery Wrap is a fire move, but no, it ain't. It's a dark move. Yeah. What an absolute moron. I am an absolute moron. That's true. Now, I'm having just a bad time of it today. Can't believe what, what's happened. Okay, so he switches out Melodic to Hydragon with the flip turn. Angry Chicken's gonna be angry. Oh, and a Draco Meteor from Hydragon, and it sets off a. Sets off his Berserk, and he uses an Air Slash, which almost takes Hydragon down to nothing. And with its Citrus Berry, Angry Chicken's back at a little over half health. And with 2.5 special attack boosted, if it's quicker than most stuff, it's going to hit hard. Okay, so in comes Heatran, and he needs a Air Slash pretty damn good. It only took about a quarter. I feel like that should do more. I mean, you're... You, you, <laughs> Fiery Wrath almost takes Heatran out, and a Magma Storm misses... That's unfortunate for Stuart. Oh, God. Didn't need that. Didn't need that. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you fluffy kidding me right now? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Fire Rat takes out that heat train and Stu Dog's down 6 to 5. Oh, God. What, what the hell am I supposed to do? God damn it. <laughs> I, I, it's called Fiery Wrath. Why isn't it a fire move? Oh, God, I feel like an idiot. Yeah, Such and he brings moron. back out Hydragon. Oh, please don't do this to me. No, don't. Okay, so Joe switches to Slow King, and a Draco Meteor takes him down to about half, and with leftovers, it goes back to about 62%. I was worried that he was going to keep Moltres in and your Draco was going to miss. No, I, I wasn't was chancing gonna... that. I wasn't uh, chancing that. It wasn't, it wasn't going to kill it anyway. It only did 58% last time. Uh, that could <laughs> be within the realm, though. What was it? Like, it, 
Uh, 68, so yeah. Okay, so you Studor brings in Melodic, and in comes Flame Burb for Cho. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to uh, someone to bring in Skamari and name it after the flight for 9/11. I'm hoping, I know when you sick fucks are gonna do that. So in comes Stewart's glide score and Flame Burb sets up some steel rocks after Melodic used Scald and got red carded. It's actually pretty advantageous for Stewart. He uses a defog and Joe uses Roost to get back to almost full health. He did get burned by the Scald, so it does leave a little bit of damage. You turn on glide score. Stewart's using his pivot as effectively as he can, and in comes Melodic again, and Joe's like, fuck you, rocks are staying on the field. <laughs> I feel like your stealth rocks are like the opposite, you're like, no, fuck it, you're keeping the rocks. Another flip turn, more pivot for Stewart. I don't even remember what moves he had. Right, bird. I feel like you're gonna about to do a double pivot. In comes Gliscor. Oh, Joe uses a wor uh, roost. And in comes the poison heal Gliscor, who's back to full health. Disappointment. I was expecting a move when you brought him in versus me. <clears throat> Look at those two flying creatures stare at each other. It's quite majestic. <laughs> uh, gets rid of the hazards again and Whirlwind, which was timely place, so Melodic did not get hurt from the rocks. Uh, Melodic uses Scald, which takes, um, takes Plane Bird down the half. Little fact. Oh, and Melodic uses Skull to get rid of Flame Burb. And we are yes, two, five, two, five. Two, not six O's. Yes. Yes. Uh, mission accomplished. In comes Angry, Ch uh, Angry Chicken, the Moltres Galar. But little fact. If now, I know, now I know it's not Fire Type. So that's yeah. handy. <laughs> and he talks his Angry Chicken while Angry yeah. Chicken uses Fiery Wrath. It's a smart play on Stuart. Oh, Angry Chicken's getting nasty. Your chicken's coming like a KFC, you're getting nasty. And Melonic uses recovery to get some of that HP back. And he uses Skull to take down Angry Chicken. Oh, Angry Chicken's at 4%. He will now have another turn. Melonic's at 33%. Mm. Fun little fact. If you use Fire Blast while Stealth Rock's on the field, if it hits the rocks, you'll actually smell what the rocks are cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This guy. <laughs> you clever bastard. <laughs> You'll never know what happens in a Pokemon. Dude, you know something like that would happen in the anime. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the, the rocks are cooking. Now's your chance to attack, Pikachu. Alright, Angry Chicken. Now it's an attack. Angry Chicken uses Air Slash to take out Melodic and dies from the poison. We're down 4-4. Four, four. Joe has Nido King, Rabombi, Dragonite, and Slow King still up. And Stuart has his Nido King, Venusaur, Gliscor, and Hydreigon. Alright, Gliscor comes out, and Bitch B, the Rabombi, comes out. That thing did some work last match. Let's see if it can still do it. Uh, he switches into his Horny King. Go from a bitch to a king. That's nice. <laughs> and Stuart gets rid of the hazards. Nice little play. Oh, he's going to scold me here. No. Uses U-turn, takes about a third of Horny King's health. And in comes Venusaur, who does indeed eat a scald like a fucking champ. It is. Jeez, yellow bottle tripping, yellow Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, in comes Baby Wings the Dragonite. <laughs> We eat a sludge bomb, no problem. Why did I click sludge bomb? Eh? Good question. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> the, the steward side is deliberating. 
A uh, dual wing beat from Dragonite misses the switch in for Stewart, who switches into Gliscor. Uh, he uses another U turn to chip away the damage from Dragonite. Don't know what to do here. And he brings out Nido King, who eats a Dragon Claw and is down to about half health. That's not what I wanted. Why'd you do that for? Why'd I didn't you tell that? you to do that. Oh, and he brings an extreme speed, but doesn't finish him off. And Baby Wings goes down to an Ice Beam from Nido King. Interesting indeed. All right, in comes Rabombi of HP. Stewart's up 4-3, but his Pokemon, two of them are severely damaged. And Nino King takes a Moon Blast from Bitchby, and it's down. And we're tied 3-3. Then comes Venusaur, Mega Venusaur. Big little flower on its head, big old bush on the top. <laughs> and in comes Horny King, the Slow King, who gets Leech Seed, which will help regen some of the health that Venusaur lost earlier. I tell you what, that Venusaur, he be looking thick. Snicker. He uses Giga Drain to take it a little over half, and it eats a Psy Shock like no problem. It's back to two thirds health for Venusaur, while Horny King's down to about a third. And ooh! Oh, lives. come on! I thought the roll would go my way, but no, it didn't. Oh, but the Leech Seed does finish off these. That Slow King, Venusaur is about a health health. So, That'll be cost me though. That'll cost me. In comes King Louis, uh, as Stuart pointed out, a Joe's favorite French king. <laughs> he uses a poison jab, it does yeah. severe damage. Ooh, Venusaur gets a critical hit on Night of King. It's down to a third. This is gonna be close, folks. That bitch. That Venusaur is a that bitch! In comes Gliascor, who eats a poison jab, takes about a third in the health, but with poison heal, it easily regens it. Gliascor uses an earthquake, outspeeds the Nido King. Well, so much for all the momentum I had. Goes down to his last Pokemon, his Rabombi, his Bitch Bee. Can it do enough? It's gonna be really tough, but Stu Dog's Pokemon are really hurt. Gliscor uses a U-turn and eats a Moonblast, and Moonblast does do a lot of damage to the Gliscor, though. That, that Rabombi be doing some work. He be lifting, <laughs> and out the gym, working on its fitness. Ah, uh, what do I do here? Lose already, but leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. We know uh, that Rabombi's... Double spec. I don't know how that works, but it is. In comes Hydreigon with its 15% health. Oh, it's got a flash cannon, and it takes out Rubombi. Looks like Stewart's going to be facing me and a rematch. It's over. So Joe's all washed off. I remember when he was good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, boy. All right, all right. <laughs> Right, Webs weren't going to do anything for me that battle. He had flyers. Yeah, I, I actually thought you would have that, Joe, but... Well, that's why I need Dragon Dance. <laughs> <laughs> this this is where I put Dragon Dance on Edo King. If it got it! Alright, let's do this. <coughs> okay, okay, Jess, I can do this. I can do this. You can win your I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Oh, I forfeit. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> That's true. You only need to win one. Uh, Dude dog has to win twice. No. Do we do we want to just finish this in that deck style, or do we want to do anything goes really spice it up? Nah, I want to stay stay in this one since okay. I didn't build my team properly. Anyway, you might as well just keep going. Okay. 
too, Doug. Like, I'm going to throw this After battle he's... anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. <laughs> After Jesse played out to struggle against Mew, in the, in the Mew versus Clefable shenanigans. Oh my god, that one! <laughs> <laughs> Repressed memories. I thought I had that one. <laughs> you thought wrong. Oh, maybe that's why we think you won one because you were supposed to win one, but you got cheated. Uh, that, cheated! One, that one was a PC one. <laughs> I was hoping cheated. I could outplay it. No, nah, you got outplayed by. I did. I did. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This so could be cool. the final battle if Stu Dog can't get the win here. Let's see if GS oh, Gold, Jesse. Wait, if Stuart wins, does he rematch you again? No, he rematches you again. Oh my god. I'm I want to face you again. I'm out. I lost. I lost twice. All right, so we got Needle King versus Milotic. Does not look mm. in favor of Jesse here, but Stu Dog's ready mm. to scald burn that fucker. Nah. Mm, Needle King man. goes, Stealth Rocks, and Milotic says, I'm out of here with flip turn. Mm. Gonna go get some Starbucks or something. I had Starbucks just before. <laughs> Glide score comes in. Ready to defog everything away and earthquake that Needle King. Oh, oh goes straight back to Milotic. Takes the Ice Punch. I say, you better not freeze me on the one turn that I'm not burnt. That would piss me off. Piss <laughs> <laughs> me off. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Needle King is wondering what to do here. Ah, damn. Okay, Takes okay. the skull no, and goes no. down. Somehow that Needle King was slow as dog shit. Uh, you, you'll find out why. I think we already know. We know why. <laughs> we know why. Whimsicott comes in against Milotic, ready to just sacrifice its life to get up a tailwind. You reckon that's what it is? I don't know. I'm just a commentator, man. <laughs> 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 and Milotic goes for the Toxic as Whimsicott goes for the Tailwind looking to burn some of these turns Gliscor goes out and Whimsicott goes for the U-turn hey Whimsicott didn't die on the first turn this time Jesse said yeah, if, no, right? I, if you're not going to destroy my mind I'm going to get the hell out of here and take initiative Gliscor staring at a bear Skeeta really wants to get the rocks off his side of the field but can't risk taking a hit. Stupid, really fast bear scooter existing in my life right now. Damn it. Milotic comes back in and is slowly getting chipped away. As bear scooter just goes for the flip turn. And Jesse is going to take initiative again. Ah, oh, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm. The Raptor it. is in now and ready to kill that Milotic. Eat Supersonic Sky Strike. In. Do it. And Supersonic Sky Strike goes off into Heat Ran and does almost half with the help of Stealth Rock, but Heat Ran does get leftovers back. Sitting at 61%. And the Tailwind is gone. Ooh. The so Raptor goes for the close combat, and Heat Rand goes for Magma Storm, living on three percent. That could have been that vital. H for love that H HP investment. <laughs> <laughs> Random HP investment for the win. Bear Skeeter comes in now against the Heat Rand. The Stew Dog switch this thing out. Wow, so he's just gonna flip turn. So, dang, he said Jesse a bitch. <laughs> he said, you won't. Whoa. He's already clapping his victory away. Oh, no, that was me cracking my knuckles. It's time to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hydreigon comes in, and Bear Scooter goes for the close combat. I'm just kidding. Goes for the flip turn. Fuck, if I went for close combat, I would have just thrown my computer <laughs> across the room. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whimsicott comes back in, and it's still hurt by poison. What will I do for here? <laughs> what a prediction! What is he gonna use? Whimsicott goes for that tailwind again. Whimsicott goes down to Flash Cannon. Hydreigon sitting there with the scarf, but Tailwind is up. Heatran decides to come out. Well, this is where it fell apart last time. Will Stewart do different? What All right, Stewart, can you guess time? the right moves? Can you guess them? No. Can you make the right Eru predictions? I, I only remember you have Eruption. What was the other move you had? Earth Power. Eruption, Earth Power. You know his Earth Power mm. makes him erupt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. And he switches the heat ran to fodder it off. Seeing what move he would go for. And it was eruption. Still two turns of tailwind. See how Stewart decides to fodder off Monzi. Oh gosh. You're done. It's a, it's a special move, isn't it? He's like thinking real hard because he knows he's gonna take two turns really hard. But he knows if he can survive that, which he will have at least three Pokemon, <laughs> he could probably win this. He's just going to decide who's not worth keeping. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to face again. I'll take the next one. Need Needle Queen's my mind. <laughs> And I believe Father's Day is just around the corner, so don't forget to buy your dad that tie he'll hate for the next 18 years of your life. Alright, so Venusaur comes in um, on an eruption, lives, and then goes for the Earth Power on Heat Ran. Heat Ran is going for the Heat Wave as Milotic lives on one, but goes down to the burn on the switch. And Tailwind is no more for the battle. <sighs> he's got Tailwind <laughs> on Heatran. No, it's kidding. funny because he's probably going to win this, but he's more stressed out than I am. <laughs> How am I probably going to win this? <laughs> oh, it's pretty easy. He doesn't have Unless Tailwind he... now. It's fine. You're fine. Yeah, man. I don't have fast Pokemon. Come on, man. Earthquake goes off on the heat ran. Gliscor is sitting there at almost full health thanks to that poison heal. Bear Skeeter comes back in, though, threatening that thing out. Mm -mm. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I think I played the wrong one, yeah? God damn it. Why does this thing have to be fast as shit? What the fuck is going on here? Well, what's going on? What's now, the matter, <laughs> trainer? What's the matter, trainer? You constipated? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, Dragon comes in. And goes for the Draco Meteor. Down, Barrascuta goes. But now Sizzler can come in. <clears throat> and Swords Dance on the switch. Venusaur takes rock damage, is sitting at 11%. Sizzler goes for the Swords Dance. Can Jesse pull this one out of his ass to win his first 
ever podcast. <laughs> fuck, I fucked this up. I fucked this up real good. I should have just attacked. Needle Queen goes in, sitting at 95%. Can it take a bullet punch and get the flamethrower off? We're about to find out. <laughs> Unlikely. Um, uh, it's just a sizzle no, with what move? and plus two attack. Nothing. What move do I go for? <clears throat> It's not like my bullet punches boosted stab sword stance. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just putting more pressure on him. It's mind <laughs> games, baby. I mean, it's only. It's not like my scissors sashed or anything. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I didn't bring flamethrower. Like, you know, you're a rookie when you don't bring flamethrower. You didn't bring flamethrower. That's why he What's didn't. Not? He was. That's why he was. Uh, Worried because he knew he didn't have that late game option for Scissor. Fucking no! I, I, I thought everyone would bring, you know, stupid pieces of shit mons and it would be. I had a feeling steel would be an issue. No. But bullet oh, punch takes no. down Needle King oh. and it is over. Oh. Jesse oh. has finally oh, won goodness. his first podcast battle. Oh, no, and he used Swords Dance. What did he do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a Cinderella story. He's running in the crowd to hug his mama. Congratulations, Jesse. What Pokemon are we doing after Nido Queen? Oh, we're doing Jolteon. We're doing Jolteon. <laughs> I'm going to teach you all the cool things about Jolteon. The winner of the Nido King nothing. tournament. There's nothing about Jolteon that's cool. <laughs> See, that's where you're uneducated, and I will prove to you. Has won, and is choosing to go with Jolteon. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this podcast. We we did all the battles we needed to do. So, later. Bye.